abandoned storage building behind Wendy's. This is the Poor Taste Podcast with Dustin Sims. Is it comedy or is he just working some shit out? Stay tuned and find out. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 11 of the Poor Taste Podcast. Hope you're doing well. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Um, ours was good, a little hectic. What was your Christmas like, Mike? Uh, about the same. Very hectic. Yeah. Um, Mike had to help me play Santa. He came over and helped me put this trampoline together. What was it, like 28 degrees? Yeah. yeah 40 very, mile an hour winds? Very cold. Very it was like cold. a fucking hurricane. Decided to start snowing. It's a fucking mess. <laughs> so we had to call in the reinforcements. My dad, he came over to help us out. Thank God. He's a mammoth of a fucking man. We're over here pulling these strings like we're trying to start a fucking chainsaw. Can't get it. And he's over here like, you fucking pussies. And he's just like clamping them on like he's built trampolines his entire life. And then we're trying to put the fucking mat on. This fucking wind's blowing. It's just a fucking mess. But when he came over, it was fine. Everything happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. So we're going to start burning boxes. So we start taking boxes. We're like, fuck it. We're just going to take these to the dump. They're too big to burn. Headed over here to Mike's apartment to drop them off. And we passed AJ's, which is a bar. And keep in mind, this is Christmas night. Like, at what, 11? Yeah, it was 11 p.m., dude. Christmas night. And AJ's, the bar, is just like, it's like four or five cars out there. Who's at the bar? Fucking Christmas night, dude. How sad does your life have to be to be at AJ's on Christmas night? You got nowhere else to go? Fuck that, dude. But it's whatever, man. I'm not going to judge nobody for what they got going on. We cleaned up the set a little bit. You said it was dull. You said the lighting was bad. We added lights. I don't know if it's enough. We should have done a test run, but we're fucking it. We're just going to do it. (laughs) Um, But we painted the wall. I hope you think that's nice. Um, we got in trouble when we painted the wall because the paraplegics under, you know, underneath us said we were, my kids were running around making too much noise. They said that. Supposedly. Yeah. It's like 10 o'clock. I don't even think it was 10 o'clock yet. Motherfucker. No. The guy comes upstairs, right? Yeah. Knocks on the door. I'm, I'm shitting. It seems like I'm always shitting when something's going on. <laughs> and Mike's like talking to the guy at the door or whatever. And it's like, what the fuck ever, dude? You're you're living in a a bottom, okay? You're a bottom, so take the pounding, bro. Like that's you know when you sign up and you get an apartment and you're on the bottom, you're gonna hear the shit above you. That's what happens. So don't be a fucking bitch. Why didn't he send his wife up here? Because she can't get up the stairs. <laughs> she can't get up the <laughs> stairs, which is why you have to be on the bottom. The best part about it was he showed up, knocked on the door. You know, he's like, is that all that noise coming from your apartment? And I'm like, well, I mean, I guess so. Probably. You know, and he peeks in here. You know, his hair is all a mess, dude. It's greasy. Like, <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, I'm assuming the man, you know, has to work early in the morning. Right. Like every other red-blooded American. Yeah. So I asked the man, you know, hey, I'm sorry, did they wake you up? And he's like, no, 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 it's just kind of late. And I wanted to be like, so you're just walking the fuck around like that? <laughs> this is how you look. This is this is it? This is how he looks. I mean. <sighs> hey, man. <sighs> Don't marry a paraplegic. <laughs> my wife's bitching because my kids can't ride a hoverboard. They can't stand up on them. They're falling. I'm like, don't marry a white dude <laughs> if you want fucking athletes running around. Okay? Should have let a black guy come inside you. <laughs> it's like, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, maybe they'll be funny. I don't know. Okay. But we got these hoverboards. <laughs> My fucking in-laws bought them because they go hard every year for Christmas. Like they, they try to outdo Santa, which is kind of fucked up. But whatever. It's my mother-in-law. She wants to spoil them. That's fine. Whatever. But they got the hoverboards and it comes with a go-kart attachment. And my kids are out there whipping it on the go-karts. I mean, it's pretty cool. And then I was like, well, see if you can stand on it. Fuck no, dude. They're all, like Bambi fucking walking <laughs> for the first time. It's embarrassing. It's the pedigree of my children. They're fucking pathetic. Their genetics are pathetic. But what do you do about it? 
My favorite part is the squeaky. That, oh, that's yeah. got to be my favorite toy. Like, yeah. We didn't have shit like that whenever we were kids. No, and it's just, how do you even come up with it? It's like a, it looks like an inflatable, like a doll, a dog. Yeah. That, that you make at a fucking carnival, like they, pff, the balloon animal, except it like does stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like it farts, which is a little weird. And then you feed it with an air pump. It's, I don't know how you, you had to be fucking geeked up. You know what I'm saying? You'll be on like LSD to come up with this toy, but it's amazing. Yeah. The stuff that it does. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I would never go outside. Have you popped it yet? No, I don't pop. Oh, yeah, it pops. It pops? It pops. It comes with a little pin. You stick it in the back. And as soon as you, you know, as soon as you stick it in the back, it makes a little you have this noise. No, 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 oh, no. yeah, no. Okay, so I went out and bought me one. You know, yeah, because I can't have a real dog in here. So break it I out. Mean, next best thing, it even pees. Have you seen it pee? No. Yes. I don't play with my children. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh well, look, that's. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. I'm just talking shit. So, anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> moving right along it just now, pees yeah but I mean it's it's an awesome point it's an awesome toy it you is. gotta admit that it is like they have two real dogs and they're like nah bro we want this fuck what one. you talking fuck Peanut and Sophie <laughs> it's it, that's the kind of thing that pisses me off though because you go over to my dad's and they're older so they're like all they do is sit on them fucking tablets and I'm like yeah they're, they're pretty fucking impressive. Yeah. You know? Like, the shit they have now are pretty impressive. He's like, back on Monday, we went, we didn't do that. We went outside. And it's like, yeah. Because that's pretty much all you had. You had to play with sticks. Right. Okay? Like, you can't compare it to, like, now. And you can't tell me that if you were a child and you had all this cool shit, you're going to go outside and put rubber bands on a stick and shoot each other. Just get fucked. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Now, do I think... Going outside is good and beneficial to play it? Yeah. And do I make my kids go outside and play? Yeah. And do they act like it's torture? Yeah, they act like it's torture. <laughs> because they got all this fucking fancy shit, man. Of course. You know, life was hard back then. You had to play with twigs. We get it. But it ain't like that no more, Grandpa. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Times has changed. Yeah. Back in those days, you could play cowboys and Indians and... In today's world, you play cowboys and Indians, you get arrested. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a fucking hate crime now. <laughs> yeah. But damn, dude, like, I, I like Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. But I like the days building up to Christmas. I like, oh, yeah. you know, the kids are getting excited because they know they're going to get stuff. But I fucking hate the day of Christmas. It's just kind of fucked up. You hate the climax. Yeah. Is this never what you think it's going to be? No, no, no. Like, you get your kids these gifts, and you're like, they're going to love it. But then they get, it's so oversaturated because everybody's buying them shit. And, like, kids nowadays are fucking spoiled. They don't know what to play with. We were poor. Like, we right. got, like, three or four toys, and they were like, the shit, you know? Because it's <laughs> yeah. like, fuck yeah. I don't have to play with this bar of soap anymore. I've been carving it for days. But I hate, like, it sounds fucked up, but I hate the family part because you have to go, like, our family's fucked up because we got my real dad, like, my biological father. My dad, who raised me, you know, we got all these sides of the family to go to. I'm married, so I got the in-laws to go to, and then they've got two sides, and we have to go to that. And it's people I don't really know that much, so I just, I don't talk. One side of the family uh, on my in-laws cooks really good. The other side brings random shit. Like, we were there yesterday, and it's like all finger, uh, day before yesterday, it's all finger foods. You got weenies, um, shrimp cocktail that's made, which, look, all right. On Christmas? Yeah, dude. Kayla's aunt used to be like a, a professional caterer. And she made this like shrimp scampi, which is one of my favorite things ever. And it looked really good. It was presented really well. But the thing I like, uh, I like my shrimp scampi hot, okay? It was cold. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm just piling them on the plate, you know. <laughs> Fuck it. Got to make it look good. I get it to the, uh, yeah. I sit down, I'm eating on them. And I'm like, this, uh, this is kind of weird, you know. It's got a weird twang to it and I said something about it to my wife and I said it too loud and my wife's aunt's like it's got pickle juice in it and I was like I'm sorry what and she's like yeah we put pickle juice in there it's like pickled um, shrimp scampi I was like what did you do take shrimp scampi and like how can I make this most awful like worst tasting thing ever I was just fucking disgusting and then I'm eating weenies 
like cocktail weenies, these weird little spiral sandwich things. I'm like, where the fuck is the real food? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then my father-in-law bought chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A, which was a blessing. I mean, honestly, he bought them for the kids. I'm over here just piling them on my plate like, Jesus Christ. I got, I'm, no, I'm enough of the shrimp. I don't know. What's the real Christmas food? Is it turkey or ham? See, a lot of people say ham, but I, I fuck with turkey. Cal- I like turkey. A good cooked turkey. If it's good, yeah. yeah. Like, I like some Cajun seasoning in it. Kayla makes a good-ass turkey with some Cajun seasoning and butter, bro. God, oh, dude. it fucking slaps. I don't like ham that much. I was just, I've had enough of it. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Once Basically, you go to so many, everybody has ham. Everybody has ham. And most people are lazy, and they just get the honey-baked ham, which is fine. It's good, but it's like, fuck. And that's what they want you to take the most of. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you'll have, you know, just a little bit of dressing or something. you have a little bit of, you know, finger foods. And then you'll have a stack of ham. Yeah. Because what are they going to do? Put a whole ass pig in their fridge? <laughs> right. Do you eat the cranberry sauce? Uh, Sometimes. I don't fuck Very with rarely. it. I'll be yeah. honest with you, I've never tried it once. You know, I used to not be a fan, but as I've gotten older, now I'm like, you know, this isn't so bad. Yeah. Or maybe it's just my like life going downhill. <laughs> I guess I'll eat <laughs> it. It's like, I'll you eat know, it. What's the worst that could happen? I'll, I'll put this in my sauce. fucking mouth. Well, no, I don't live by that rule. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, my mom's side of the family used to like just slide it out of the can, and it would just be like the exact replica of the can. And it's just sitting there, and I'm like, I don't, I don't want that. No. I don't want to even touch that. That's disgusting. I don't understand why that's a thing, but it's fine. Whatever. Then we get to my dad's, like my biological father's, and it's just a shit show because he don't really fuck with nobody anymore. He's a successful businessman, uh, but he's just really not good at keeping people around. Okay, a lot of his kids don't talk to him anymore. Don't even know a lot of his kids, honestly. Um, and then my brother, who has been—it's uh, well documented. I've talked about it before. Who's who's been strung out? He's been strung out for about four or five years on pills, heroin, meth, um, a lot of shit. Uh, who is finally clean, which is crazy. Everybody's losing in 2020. Like, COVID's fucked everybody up. The only person I know that's winning is my brother. He quit doing drugs. He's slowly gaining weight again. He looks decent. He's, he's chipped a, a tooth. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And, you know, whatever. But he looks good. He's like off the shit. But he vapes. No biggie, right? But my dad is like, fucking Hitler over there and he's like you need to quit vaping we're at, we're at Christmas we're like opening gifts my children are like trying to open gifts from their their papa and my dad's like, you, you gotta stop vaping somebody had a vaporizer blow up in their, their pocket third degree burn lost their legs they had to they have them amputated both of them and I'm like that didn't happen you're just trying to make him stop and I was like you know hey man let him vape yeah let him fucking vape he's not shooting heroin anymore right. You know, he's not popping pit. Let the motherfucker vape. <laughs> I mean, damn. Let the man have something. But whatever. Dude. My dad's got a flask this tall. He's over here like, <laughs> you got to stop vaping. I'm like, <laughs> get it together, bro. Well, why, do, why do we listen to these? Now, why do we listen to older people? Now, hear me out before we, you know, start. Because our main demographics older people. <laughs> well, no, well, <laughs> well, sorry, older people. But now, hear me out. But you're listening to us, though. So. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Mm-hmm. So, these are the same people that 60s, 70s maybe thought smoking was the bomb. Like, it's the new thing, it right? It was the shit. It's the, and it can't hurt you, right? Everybody cool. smoked in the 70s. Cool. Cool. Camel cool. Whatever. These are the same people that thought opioids in Vietnam were... <laughs> The way to go. Bro, opioids are the shit, though. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm not knocking them, you know. I'm just kidding. I mean, they're all right. They're, they're all right. <laughs> you know, if you've ever had any. Yeah. If you haven't, try. Try a lot. <laughs> just get strung out like my brother did. It's a good time. Good time. A lot of money. Lots of money. But yes. they were getting the shit for free, right? Yeah. Government issued opioids. Right. You think that was stronger? Mm, I don't know. I think it was like a Perk 10, a Roxy. 30 milligrams? I don't know. Like, Let well, us know if you know. Yeah. If you've done opiates in Vietnam. <laughs> I guess. I bet they were pretty stout. Yeah, yeah. They'd have to be to keep you up, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're in the middle of war. Oh, I'm looking for Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just people jumping out of the bushes. Not only that, but the thing about all the other things that could kill you. Yeah. Gators, snakes. Just I mean, infection. Infection. You didn't have to worry I about I mean, you the were bullets. battling the fucking nature out there. Yeah. You would die long before a bullet would kill you, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. You're like, you know, could have been shot in the back of the head, but at least I got ate by this crocodile. Yeah. I guess quicker way to die. Fucking different times back then. Didn't have iPods and tablets and shit. It's interesting. We got my daughter a fucking tablet. And it's like for... It's a shitty one. Because she can't take care of, obviously, an iPad. And my son got an iPad. And he can download good shit. My daughter cannot. She can download shit that's on Amazon. Little kid stuff. And she can't understand. And she's made it up in her mind that she also has an iPad. It's just a different kind. And I'm like... At night, I go in there to take their tablets. I'm like, alright, it's time to get ready for bed. I'm like, just give me your tablet. And she's like... It's an iPad. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. And my son's arguing with her. It's like, it's not, it's not an iPad. I'm like, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> just let her have something. Just let her have it. Just let her vape. Okay? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, dude. <sighs> and then my dad is wealthy. We'll say that. He's yeah. pretty wealthy. I mean, compared to what I'm used to. Yeah. Uh, gives the worst gifts out of anybody. And I think it's why he's wealthy. Because he's very stingy with his money. But he always does these things that seem like they're going to be sentimental in the beginning. Uh, and then he lures you in and lets you down. Like when I turned 20, he called me up and he was like, this, uh, keep in mind, I've only known him since I was 18. So it's like the second year I've known him. And I went from having hardly nothing to I moved in with him to get to know him a little better. Uh, so I went from living in this, no disrespect to my, my mother, she did the best she could, but we were living in pretty much a shack. We had no AC, no heat. Um, no insulation. It was like we were the like sixth generation to live in this house. I went from living in that to living in this very nice big house. So I'm thinking, hey, eventually, you know, this guy's gonna try to make up for lost time, you know. So he's gonna lure me and give me something. So he calls me on my 20th birthday. He's like, come see me. I got something for you. I show up. Uh, he's like, I'm gone, but I left it on my toolbox, and it's this shoe box, and it's just got my name on it. And I open it up, and it's this. <laughs> The size twelve, like Bear Grill, off you know, off brand Bear Grill hiking boots, and I was just like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't wear size twelve, you know. I called him, I was like, I don't wear size twelve. He's like, me neither. That's why I gave them to you. <laughs> so I was like, kill yourself, fucking kill yourself. I love my dad a lot though. So Christmas time, after my brother Jonathan leaves, which is kind of smart, he takes us down to where he has his gun safe. And he's like, I want to show you and Connor something. That's my stepbrother. Not my stepbrother, my brother-in-law. Shit, my bad. So we go down the stairs, and he's showing us all these guns. Um, some of them are very rare. Some of them are very expensive. And he's just like showing them, showing them, showing them, showing them, showing them. And he's going on and on and on and on. And he's like, let me tell you something. One day, when something happens to me, and I was like, yeah. He said, Leanne don't know how to open this. And that's his wife, you know, my stepmom. And I was like, okay. He said, but when something happens to me, she's going to tell you the code, and I need y'all to unlock it for her. And I was just <laughs> like, and then. And that was it, bro. He just wanted us to unlock it for her. I was like, oh, no. That bitch is staying close, <laughs> bro. Fuck that. I'm not getting nothing. If she called me up, I was like, I'm going to have to have some help opening this save. I'm like, get yourself blow it up or something, you know? I don't know what to tell you. Do you have, like, awkward things you have to go to at Christmas, like with relatives? Um, only, like, people that I don't know. Yeah. You know, uh, well. The stragglers that come along. Like, yeah, They the just stragglers. started dating somebody in the family, and you don't know who the fuck they yeah. are. It's exceptionally bad at um my step, my step side of the family. Yeah. Like, their grandparents... Like, their niece will bring, like, a new guy every year. Yeah. And she's, you know, I mean, that's all fine today. Hey, you got a date, right? Right. But, come on. <laughs> I mean, how many tries? Nobody, yeah, don't even, like, nobody's going to give, like, any time of day to get to know this motherfucker. No. Because it's going to be a different person next year. Yeah. Like, you're a shell. That's exactly what's happening. It's happened so much that at this point, like, if she does show up, 
it'll be with another man. And you know, like, hey, you know, Justin, it's Bobby. Well, who yeah. gives a fuck? Ah. You'll be out of here in a minute. But. <laughs> You'll be gone soon. Yeah. So don't even correct us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get on the end. Okay. So we can cut you out. <laughs> you, you know how it is. Yeah. My wife's cousin, she uh, started dating this dude. Dirty individual. He's a nice boy. Very dirty, though. Don't know why. Um, she like, and I mean like, I don't mean like as he says things that are raunchy or uh, absurd, like we do. I think he's like, I mean, he's like physically dirty. He hasn't bathed. It doesn't seem like, but he's a nice guy, very sweet guy. She brought him, and I, I we don't know how long this is gonna last, so we're just like, whatever. He's here, so we take a group picture, and nobody has a tripod, a selfie stick, or whatever. So they're like, hey, you take it, <laughs> okay. And he's like looking kind of weird, like, oh, I, want, I kind of want to be in it or whatever. So Kayla's aunt feels sorry for him, and she's like, we'll put you in the next one. And then we take the picture, and everybody's like, get fucked. We're not taking the other picture. <laughs> and they just, they, they, and they don't, and they don't. And then they're mad that he took a bad picture, and it's like, hey, man, I done took a shitty one too. <laughs> like, I'm not in it. I don't give a fuck. I won't see you guys next year. Yeah. And then at my in-laws, <laughs> Kayla's cousin is, it's very obvious that he's homosexual. Nothing wrong with it. I'm on your side. Not really. Like, I don't fuck dudes, but I get it, man. That's you. I don't have nothing against gay people. But Kayla's uncle does, apparently, because he's over here just going off, like, talking about those damn queers sucking dick in publics and shit. Like, and he's just like, it's government conspiracies, gays are ruining the world. And Kayla's cousin, who's very clearly homosexual, is just sitting over there like, <laughs> like he's here and he's the scum of the earth. Shouldn't even be alive. Is it, the whole? It's just awkward. I don't want to be here, but whatever. It's fine. So like, and then one of her cousins married a fucking ogre, and I don't mean to be rude, but she looks like an ogre. <laughs> she looks like Fiona, <laughs> sweetheart. Also, love her to death. Uh. But she's, she plays with her toes. She takes her her shoes off and her socks at a family function. One that, might I add, you've only been a part of for a couple of years. What level of confidence do you have to have to take off your socks and shoes and play with your toes in front of about, I don't know, 26 people that you don't know? I, 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 don't, I don't understand it. But whatever. We're in the kitchen. I see this shrimp. I'm like, that looks good, I guess. I'll try it. You know, the shrimp scampi. Well, she puts a bunch on her plate, takes a bite out of one. Kayla's cousin was like, mm, I want to try that shrimp. And she's like, well, here's your pieces. Like, no, nah, come here. And like, oh, oh, oh. let's like oh, starts no. making out with her in the kitchen. And I was like, uh. So she starts walking off after she pulls her tongue out of his esophagus. And he's like, uh-uh, I want some more. So she like tries to hand him a shrimp. And he like grabs her arm like, like it's a soap opera. Like, no. Pulls her in, uh, and I was like, what? I was in there like, Ugh. I was about to fucking throw up. I wanted to beat the shit out of everybody and leave. It was just, fuck, fuck Christmas, bro. It was just, I was like, I would, I would rather be at AJ's. Yeah. I was like, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, fucking I get, it. get it. I should be at AJ's right now. With a panty dropper. With the panty, oh yeah. With was, the panty dropper. The challenger. Yeah, it was a challenger, definitely. I got behind on the way to your house. Fucking V6. V6. Panty dropper. Panty dropper. Wish that was me on Christmas instead, but what are you going to do? You know. Do you have any Christmas traditions? Um, We used to until COVID. We would just go to our, like my grandparents' house, have dinner. You know, it was that was kind of our tradition. Yeah, but it seems... <clears throat> It seems like uh, I'm skipping out on a tradition every year because with my stepmother and stepsisters, I, I believe that they want me to spend the night. Now, granted, I'm almost 30 years old. On Christmas Eve? On Christmas Eve. Santa's coming, bro. I understand. So, you know, Santa's coming. We want to be one big happy family, but hey. You fucking th- I drink alcohol. <laughs> I do anal. <laughs> I do I'm not spending the night here. I'm not okay? spending the night here. I've ate booty before, Mike says. <laughs> On occasion. Yeah. I'm not spending the night anywhere. It's weird. It but I get weird. it. 
you would get it if you had kids, I think, because you don't want your kids to grow up. And to you, they're, you're, you're, to them, you're still a child. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I don't have kids of my own, obviously, but, you know, I would imagine that they don't want to lose that connection because that probably is a really sentimental thing. You yeah. Know, whenever you're younger, you wake up on Christmas Day. Like, yeah. it's, it's great, I understand. But, like, for me now... It just fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. It sucks. We usually go to my grandmother's, my nana's every year, Christmas Day morning. My whole life went up there. We didn't go this year, and it felt so fucking weird. You know, but it's like, you don't want to fucking kill them. Because, yeah. like, a lot of people on my mom's side has already died from the COVID. Like, two people's already died from Damn. it. Do you think you would survive it? Um, I think I would survive it, but if I passed it on to somebody else... Uh, there's there's a lot of people in my family that would not yeah. survive. It felt really weird, and I was so I don't want to say like it wasn't uncomfortable, but it was just so bizarre to not see my nana and papa for Christmas that I didn't even want to call them because I felt like they would be just so upset and they would just cry and shit. Because my nana she cries at the drop of a hat anyways because she's on all these nerve pills. Yeah. So I didn't call. I didn't talk to them on Christmas. It just felt really shitty. But I was like, ah, I don't want to make it worse. If that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. My uh, stepmother actually wanted to go to my grandparents' house and stand outside of the window and wave. <sighs> I was like, she's like, you know, hey, come on, guys. Let's everybody jump in the car and go. And I was like, hey, yeah. no, I'm going to sit this one out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's just sit this one out. Put yourself, dude. Imagine you're like 76, okay? And like you've lived your life. Right. You've seen your kids grow. And now you've seen your grandkids grow. And you slowly see them slowly kind of forget about you. Like, not really forget about you. But in a way, yeah. But they don't come around much. They call you occasionally. And now, there's this virus going around that you know if you get it, you'll die. Yeah, 100%. So you're stuck in your house. You can't see your family on Christmas. It's normally packed full. You can't see them. And then, like, all of a sudden, there's, like, you're just sitting there all depressed and shit. And then there's, like, a knock on the window. And you look out, and they're all out there, like, hey, <laughs> Papa, what are you doing? Just... <laughs> that would be even, even more depressed. <laughs> i kill than... myself, bro. <laughs> like, get fucked, whole family. Get fucked. Yeah, get fucked. Jesus Christ, dude. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird fucking thing, man. You think the vaccine's going to make it go away? Or you think it's going to kill everybody? Uh, I think it'll be... I think it'll be like half and half. Like You think it's going to turn everybody gay? Well, I mean, didn't it... What was that thing about uh, the water turning the frogs gay? Was that like <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It was turning the frogs gay. And was, so, like, maybe the vaccine or, like... Yeah, they inject you, turn you gay, then we don't repopulate. And we slowly die away. So, like, would you, like, wake up in the morning with a heart on for men? Like, how would that work? Damn. What if it just makes you sterile? I'd be all right with that. Or autistic? I'd, I'd probably still be, still be all right Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Not really. I mean... I mean, I don't know. only thing I've seen is allergic reactions. I haven't even seen that. You seen that? Yeah, they said it's like, uh, don't like uh, kill the messenger. It's like six out of a hundred thousand maybe have had allergic reactions to it already. Damn. But I also did hear that uh, Pfizer was failing at the beginning of the year, like a company about to go under. You know, imagine that a company that makes dick pills about to go under. Yeah. And just, they just got their dick and everything else, apparently. Yeah, oh, we'll make a vaccine. Yeah, we'll make a vaccine. Do you know anything about it? No. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. And, I mean, that's what happened. They just magically made this vaccine in a matter of uh, about a year. And here they are thriving. Business is booming. Damn. I hope that's what this lighting does for us. Because last week, we didn't know anything about lighting. Oh, no, we didn't, we didn't know shit. And everybody's like, hey, you need lighting. And we were like, we'll turn gotcha. them on. We'll fucking turn them up. And it's like, whatever. I don't know if it worked, but like, damn, I hope we thrive. Yeah. I hope that's all we needed. You know, maybe it's, it doesn't matter about content. It's just the lighting and the dual set. We put some paint on this bitch. Fuck it. I was going to say the white wall. Yep. But it does look better though. It looks better. A lot better. You're right. Uh, <laughs> get fucked, everybody. Anyways. Um, 
what else? What else do I hate about Christmas? Traffic. I don't know. I still like the fucking Grinch. Fucking traffic. Yeah. It's a and shit show. If you roadblock the intersections during Christmas, you know, I know sometimes you can't help it. Oh, yeah, like gridlocking traffic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you gridlock cra- like traffic, kill yourself. Delete yourself immediately. Just, from just look, you're not making it any better. You're not getting to your destination any faster. No. As a matter of fact, all you're doing is making these fuckers behind me blow their horn. Yeah. And that's not helping matters either. No. You're a piece of shit. You should, yeah. You should just die a horrible death. Right along with McDonald's. Bro, fuck. fuck. Yeah, man, I had people message me. Not a lot of people watch this. And you know what? I don't give a fuck. People even have messaged me. It's like, just do the videos. People don't watch the podcast. I think you kill yourself. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm just getting some shit off my chest. Okay? That's what we're doing here. And so I had people, like two people reach out and was like, yeah, I really appreciate you saying that about McDonald's. I hope everybody in there dies a horrible, painful death. And I was like, ah, I don't know if I've... Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of them. It doesn't even matter. It's fine. I sound like I have COVID. You sound like you have... Can you still taste and smell? I can taste and smell. And it's my allergies are fucked up because Kayla and that fucking vacuum cleaner she got... She just like snaps her fucking earbuds in and she goes to town in this fucking Tineco. She's cleaning things that hasn't been cleaned in years. And it's just the dust is flying around everywhere. It's fucking me up. But what are you going to do? You know, I can't fucking kick her out. I can. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Not the type of sucking you thought she was No, it about. is not the type of sucking I thought was going to go down when I got that thing. But it's whatever, dude. Sucking is going on. And it's sucking's happening. Things weird though. It's got kind of, like, it attaches to the Wi Fi. Like it, it connects strange. to the Wi Fi. It has an app. She has an app on her phone for your vacuum for our cleaner? vacuum cleaner. And I was like, what is what is going on? What does the app do? I don't. Like, know. What are the it, it's got a laser and it scans the floor and tells you how dirty your floor is. Like, it's, a, it's degrading you in an app. They made an app to degrade you. Like you are filthy. You <laughs> need me. Use me. And then Kayla does it. She's like, oh, God, the fucking floor is filthy. <sighs> of course it's going to tell you that. It's a vacuum. Yeah. Whatever, dude. Or We're what? not eating off these floors. Fuck. Yeah, like, I don't want to be disgusting, but like, Jesus Christ, tone it down, okay? Just fucking tone it down. She don't watch this, so I don't know why I'm telling her that. Do you think it's like AI technology becoming self-aware? That'd be wild. you get killed by your fucking vacuum cleaner. Yeah, that would be wild. It could self-destruct. Yeah. How do you know it wouldn't? I mean. What kind of batteries it got? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I just know it was like $400 fucking dollars for vacuum cleaner. Fuck. It yeah. literally was the PS5 for women. Yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah. yeah. You got a rainbow, don't you? I got a rainbow. <laughs> and if y'all don't know anything about rainbows, let me tell you, don't. Just don't. No. It, it's... The biggest Ponzi scheme ripoff of your life. I mean, they would they would be better off selling dildos, just ramming you with it. Like you'd get more use out of it, yeah. honestly. It is a about a four thousand dollar vacuum cleaner. And sure, it does all kinds of things. They come and give you a demo and they're like, Oh yeah, kinda of like the same thing. Look how disgusting you are. Yeah, look how disgusting you are. But if you bought this four thousand dollar vacuum cleaner you could you, you could be clean. You could be clean and get a lot of pussy. Oh, they didn't tell me that. No, it's fine. clean but floors get pussy. I, I still guess. bought it. Yeah. So they sold you. They sold me on it. And by the way, it does not get you more pussy. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. We can we can make the argument that it gets you less. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I keep it out. You know, it's like my. Modern day birth control. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got the rainbow. Like, oh, you got that rainbow. No, I, you know what? I got somewhere else to be. My father in law bought it twice. <laughs> you know how bad, <laughs> bro. You could sell anything to my father in law. I love him. That he buys stuff just because he can. Like he'll watch. He bought a juicer off this like commercial one time. And he wanted me to see it, and he come over and like shoves this fucking orange off in this tube, and it just sprays pulp all over the wall. Just it <laughs> don't have a catch. Like he forgot to put it on there. Oh. And it just, and he's like, "Fuck!" 
But try this orange juice. It's good. <laughs> and I looked in the cups. So I ate this much in it from the orange. And I was like, Jesus Christ. So, like, Mike gets the rainbow. And he was like, will you do a demo to help me out? And I was like, yeah. So I did the demo. I could probably get you another one. So I told my father-in-law. He's like, I already got a rainbow. I was like, just do the demo to help my buddy out. All right. So they brought a rainbow. What he has, by the way, just a f- newer. Brought it to his house. Showed him the same demonstration he's seen before. I always said he wished he never would have fell for it. They do the same demonstration as they did before. My father's like, fuck it. I'll take it. <laughs> they said, we'll take your old rainbow. So he gave him a $4,000 rainbow that he paid off already. And then I'm sure they gave him $100 off or something like that. <laughs> Sold him on another one. Dude, it's a, it's a fucking pyramid scheme. Yeah, he paid for the same thing. You buy him. this and then get your other friends to buy one. And it'll take a little bit off of yours. Yep. And then they do that and it just goes down and down and down and down. Oh, no, it was promised f- free. Oh. Free. If you sell it to 12 of your friends... It's free. You can't buy it in stores. With they don't have a, a fucking production. It's not like a big lot. I mean, you can't buy it like that. You got to do it through demos in someone's home. Why? It's a fucking punch. If it was so great, why would you have to enter in people's homes and show them like all this forty minutes of stuff? Fuck them in there. Fuck them in there. Because you at the end of the 40 minutes, you're like, God dang, get out of my fucking house. And then the quickest way to get them out of your house is like, ah, Bye. I'll just do it. It's pretty brilliant. They've actually got a really good payment plan. Oh, for real? Believe it or not. I mean, they better on a $4,000 vacuum. <laughs> yeah. But it's a very reasonable payment plan. If you don't make your 12 sales, which like I didn't. How many did you sell? 11. Yeah. What? Yeah, me and the girl that I was dating sold an 11. And we couldn't get the 12th one, which means you're fucked. Oh, you're you didn't get hit. nothing off? Nah, bro. Nah. He was like, here you go. Here's that full $4,000. Damn. And then you sold them 11. Sold them 11. So, so you kind of fucked about 11 other people. Yeah. If you can fuck over 12 friends, it's a good deal. If you don't have 12 friends to fuck over, you're fucked. Basically. Damn, that's kind of how life works, you know? Yeah, in a roundabout way. I'm trying to think, man. Oh, by the way, we got us some... A little, we're just drinking on some Jack. And this is our first drink. We haven't had much. I don't think they will leave that. And life is good. Um, what do you think about the Nashville bombing? Um, it was definitely intentional. 100% intentional. Like, everybody was on the news like, the police saying it might be intentional. Hey, they parked a fucking RV with a siren that said, evacuate the area, <laughs> evacuate the area. It yes, a, it was intentional. It was an accident. It was an accident. Uh, shit, I didn't mean for that to blow up there. I meant for it to blow up, you know, at the fucking kids park. Yeah. Or, what do you think the reason was? Um, Obviously, infrastructure damage. Okay, well, I don't think said person wanted to hurt or kill anybody, which obviously that's why the the siren went off. Right. You know, I mean, hey, evacuate there. Y'all get the fuck out of here. I ain't trying to kill you. I'm just trying to cause damage. Yeah. But I would link it to something that happened to us in Nashville while we were there. Because think about it. While we were in Nashville, they had peaceful protests. Everything was going great. And then some stupid fuck lit the courthouse on fire. Yeah. For whatever reason. I mean, could this be the same person? Could it be the same group of people trying to get back at the courthouse? Or could it be like um, the guy in the bulldozer from a few years back? Yeah. They just had enough of it, and it's like, fuck it, I don't want to kill nobody, but I'm going to fuck this government up. I think, that's a good point, I think it was one of the businesses that it hit, somebody paid somebody to fucking do it, because like, especially the bars and the restaurants, because they've been hit the hardest, dude, because one, at the beginning of the pandemic, they're like, the government's like, we're not going to shut you down, but you got to like put these dividers up, Yeah, and you got to set up outdoor dining. 
and then you're like half capacity. Yeah. And then like they're all like spending money to follow these rules, and then they're like, we're just gonna shut you down. And they shut them down. And I'm sure that a lot of them went in a hole a lot. Oh, absolutely. And I bet one of them was like, you know, I'm gonna blow this motherfucker to hell. Blow this fucking courthouse. I don't want to kill nobody. But I'm gonna blow everybody to fucking yeah. hell. Did you see the pictures of like how far it went? I yeah. mean, it went a, it went an easy couple blocks. <laughs> Yeah, it sure. wasn't just a boom courthouse. It's like, no, I'm gonna fuck this street up. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah. Who fucking knows? Is there anything left of the RV? No. The dude was in it. They found the human remains. His name I was like. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, the guy was in it who did it. So it was a kamikaze mission. Yeah, he blew himself up. They don't know. He's like a person of interest, but he was in it. So like. Obviously. Obviously. You you did it. You had something to do with but it. But why? I mean we'll, what, we'll figure it out, I guess. How did they get to the end of that? How do they know if that was the person that initially wanted to do this or if it was just somebody that was caught tied up and threw in this fucking thing? They said it had been sitting there since two o'clock and it blew up at six, so that's yeah, what is he doing? Hours. Just chilling? Yeah, like, what are you, contemplating it? Of course, you think about it, though. If you did decide you were going to blow yourself up, you would probably think about it for a long time. Before yeah. you even decided, like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then you got up there and you're like, God damn, are we really going to fucking do this? I don't know that I would want to do it like that. I don't know that I would want to Would you shoot like yourself that. in the head first? Before uh, you blow up? Yeah. Because you don't know. Like, yeah, the explosion's... Might like just fuck you up instantly, but you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. It could just like maim you up pretty good, and you just be laying there burning. Oof! What if it blew off three out of like four? You know. Yeah, limbs. Limbs, and you're just sitting there like crawling away from this broken down RV. Well, that's probably not anymore. And then you got to explain why you blew up the courthouse. (laughs) (laughs) Was it the courthouse? I heard it was Quarles. I don't know. I thought it was AT&T and some bars. I don't know. I know it was on 2nd Street. Where the fuck that's at? Yeah. When we went to Nashville. That's when they had the Black Lives Matter riots. And we say Black Lives Matter in quotations because, it, like he said, it was a peaceful protest. We watched the protest come through. Black Lives Matter. It was peaceful. Yeah. And then, like, Joey was like, ah, I got to change my shoes. We're at the bar. He's like, I got to change my shoes. And I'm like, Why? Why? So I gotta change my shoes. So we're like, okay. So we go back to the room for Joey to change his shoes. He changes his shoes, and we come back out, and there's like people running from Broadway, and they're like, "Don't go to Broadway." So of course we're like, going to Broadway. Yeah. There's helicopters flying over, fucking spotlights, tear gas in the air. You're like fucking ball. We're like bawling, just crying and shit. Get back to Broadway. There's people running up and down. They broke into uh, Margaritaville, right? Yeah. And, and uh, Margaritaville and Boot Barn. To get some alcohol to like, throw Molotov cocktails into the Boot Barn. Set the Boot Barn on fire. So one guy comes running out with boots and then sits them down and just leaves them. I was like, you can steal them or not? Well, they're not your size? It's like, fuck. Joey's running around like on his live trying to talk to everybody. His van pulls up. He's like, we got riot weed. Riot weed. And we're like, well, we're going to die soon, so might as well get some. So we... Sp- been like thirty or forty dollars on these fucking uh, pre rolls, thinking they're weed and they're just CBD. Dude, fucked us. Yeah, fucked yeah. us hard. But yeah, we should have known better. I mean, yeah, but in the moment you're like, oh, yeah. this is the shit. My fucking helicopters, tear gas. It's like whatever. Wait, would you say he was with the protesters? Like, how the fuck did he know to set up and sell riot weed? Right, and why were there bricks set out? People sit yeah, out pallets of bricks. Conveniently laid out. This is going to turn into a conspiracy podcast. Yeah, it probably is. Well. I mean, don't them like get knocked off. Yeah. I mean, kind of like Alex Jones. You know, he can't. Oh, yeah, dude. He got any platform for sure. Yeah. But, I mean, literally everything is a conspiracy with Alex Jones, dude. Yeah. But he's been right about a lot of shit. He has, dude. Whenever I was listening to, uh, whenever I was listening to that, should that video that you had told me about him going to the fucking gay um, sacrifices. <laughs> oh yeah, and they're shit. fucking. And yeah. He's like, I was there. I was there. That sounded like it. That's a good impersonation. <laughs> 
Holy shit. I don't know, man. But, what are you going to do? You ever been hunting? No. Well, okay. All right. So, my, my, my dad, I call him my dad. He raised me, so he's my dad. But he's like my stepdad, technically, whatever. He was, he's not a big hunter, but like I used to ask him to go hunting like when I was little because all my friends would go hunting. And I was like, I'd like to go hunting. So he gave me a, uh, a 12 gauge uh, single shot. And he's like, let's go. And he gives me that. And he throws the camouflage jacket on me. And he drives us down these dirt roads. And we're out here spotlighting early in the morning. And I was like, this is hunting? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, all right. Never killed anything. So then I was like, I want to sit up somewhere. And he's like, all right. So he woke me up at like 5 o'clock in the morning one day. Freezing cold. I remember it was like frost on the ground. Walked me to our backyard, which led to a cow pasture. We walked into this cow pasture, into another cow pasture. We were trespassing. <laughs> and we sat at the foot of this tree, and we sat down on the ground. And he's like, you just look that way. And I was like, all right. And then like three minutes later, he's snoring. And I look over, and he's just out. And I'm just sitting here like, fuck. In the middle, in the edge of this cow pasture. <laughs> Saw nothing. <laughs> So I was like, I don't want to hunt no more. So that's my experience with hunting. You hunt a lot? Um, I'm trying to go more. I haven't been but a few times this year with me and my dad. Yeah. But uh, What's that like? Honestly, like it's a great feeling, you know. Having I, a dad? I, yeah. <laughs> Sorry Just to kidding. rub that in. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it's a great feeling, you know, doing things that he likes to do. Like I said, them things... Them guys are made out of damn steel and uh, cow spit. Oh, yeah. Dude. You know, they, they like all that rough and tough shit. But anyway, something obviously wants us to not hunt because a couple weekends ago we went and we went in the evening and we got lost. I figured out I didn't have a flashlight. Well, before I told my dad, like, hey, if anything happens, shoot twice into the ground and I'll know it's you. Yeah. And I told him that because he has passed out in the tree stand and dropped all of his shit to the ground 30 foot up in the air before. And, I mean, I don't know what the fuck I would have done if he would have died up there or, you know, if he would have been in extreme need of something. Yeah. You know, I mean, how the fuck are you going to reach him up there? He's got heart problems. Yeah, he's got heart problems. And this time when we went, Went up on top of the mountain, and my fat ass is not about to carry a tree stand up on top of the mountain. You know, going down is fine. Coming back up, no, dog. It, nah. It'll kill me. It'll, it'll kill for me, dog. So I carry this stool and carry it out here and set it up. And it's pitch dark. You know, we go in the morning this time hoping to see something. I don't pay, I don't pay very much attention. I think this is my old tree. I set it up. I lean back. I've been been there for a few hours. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I hear it creak, and the whole damn tree falls down. With oh, me no. and the stool and everything, gun in my hand, everything, and I'm, you know, just about tumbling down the mountain what the at fuck? this point. You feel back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had um, already, I had already gotten up and turned around and sat. Like, oh no! Against, like literally against it. No, no. I'm like, yeah, I'm not seeing shit down here. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll make sure nothing's coming behind me. Yeah. Uh, that was not the move. That was not <laughs> the move. So now I think we're just, we're just going to take a break on hunting for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking good for right After now. After you get lost, and then the only tree out of all of these trees, the one I picked yeah. besides, hey, bro. We're done here. We're done here. <laughs> we're not doing this today. No, we're not doing this. Get fucked hunting. And my dad actually heard it. I'd sent. He heard the tree fall. Yeah, I sent a text to my dad. I said, "Well, son of a bitch." Yeah. And he didn't text me back. He thought it was a deer. Oh, my no. dad thought it was a deer. You know, like a monster coming through. I, I just picture him grabbing his gun, like, "All right, where are you at?" Yeah. Like Elmer Fudd, you know, hunting yeah. the rabbit. He's like, "Come get it, you son of a bitch." <laughs> yeah. Your dad's country is fuck, dude. Yeah, his country is cow shit. Yeah. Absolutely. He used to shoe horses, ride, barrel race. Fucking brick shit house. Brick shit house. Fucking quadruple quadruple um bypass. Bypass on his heart surgery. 
Yeah. And he's just in here like, get fucked. A week later, he had he had a fucking 10-foot ladder in the bucket of a truck. Uh, not a truck, I'm sorry, the bucket of a tractor. Yeah. Raised up with a chainsaw up in the top of it, cutting limbs down. A week after, he had quadruple bypass. They don't make them like that no more. They don't make them. We're pussies, dude. Yeah. They didn't have tablets growing up. No. They didn't have it. They had to shoot like rubber bands and throw sticks at each other. That's it. We're pussies. Yeah. About as I hate to say it. And that's all we will be. But that's fine, you know? I think that's a good spot to end. What do you think? Yeah. Where we at? 50 minutes, bro. All right. Look, let us know what you think about the paint on the wall. If it's still dull, I'd like to tell you that there's more we'd do to it. I'd probably just tell you to go fuck yourself. Like, (laughs) I don't know what you want. You want fucking Flash or Captain Insano spray painted on the wall? What do you want? Tell us about the lighting and the audio. That's something we can adjust. Let us let us know if it's better. If it's not, I, I, I don't know what to do next. I have to call in a professional. We're doing the best we can. Uh, give us your feedback. Uh, let us know about Mike. All the comments last week said he was asked. He should kill himself. He almost did. Almost did. And so let us know if he should follow through with that. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for watching. You guys are the shit. If you're on Patreon, I, I'll be honest with you, I forgot to, to end that. Oh, but, fuck. So they paid for another month of this shit? Not yet, but they will in a few days if I don't hurry up. And oh, I'm going to end it. I don't know. I might <laughs> let it go through one more month. Just so, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Christmas was here. Yeah, you know. I'm going to try to remember to uh, cancel that. If I don't, you can tell me to go fuck myself. That's okay. But if you're watching this, that means you watched it last week. It means I've gave you two warnings. Just go ahead and get off of it yourself. If you're still on there, you don't give a fuck. Or you're just not watching. So, hey, that's on you. I might take another month out. We'll figure it out. I love you guys. Here's the shit. Later.